I knew I needed it to have one of these sucky tubes because I don't like the ones where you just open them and then you just like gulp out of it because I'm not that coordinated and water or get everywhere. So I'm making myself some ginger green tea and I got some packages so I thought I'd share them with you. For me it does. So I was watching Colleen's vlog and she had this cute water bottle and I was like I need something to inspire, inspire me. So I went on Amazon and this was like 12 or 13 dollars it wasn't that expensive at all and it's a water bottle and it has the time you start at 8 a.m i'm a little bit late this morning but it's okay and then by 8 p.m you made it one gallon so if i fill this up i'll have a gallon of water a day so i drink a gallon of water a day i like it because it has this thing and then it also has this so if i'm walking around i have it and also, it's vacuuming tight, so if I just, not that I have a car, but when I get a car, we're going to claim it, I can just throw it in and have it with me. So when we were in Florida, I noticed that my setting powder was trash. So I was watching Anna Sacconi's, I don't know why I can't talk, but anyway, Anna Sacconi's um, vlogs, and she said that her Rimmel L London Stay Mad Pour um powder um was really good this was her tried and true and one thing i like about anna i know she's not everybody's favorite but one thing i like about her is that when that girl gets something she sticks with it like she still has pajamas from when she was 12 like i don't even know where my pajamas are when i was 12. so this is the color i got sandstorm 4 a.m in the morning my best friend called me crying and that's like the worst thing is when someone you love calls you crying. And especially me, because like, I'm such a, I, 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 I get up early, but I'm knocked out by nine. Like that's my bedtime. But anyway, I wanted to be there for her as much as I most possibly could. But basically her, not her biological dad, but her dad died. This and it wasn't expensive at all. I think it was like used maybe four or five dollars. And it says, and this is like gently used, it looks brand new, but it says juicing for weight loss, 101 uh, juicing recipes with help to lose weight, naturally fast, fast, increasing energy and feeling great. So I saw this on Amazon and I was like, this should be cool. And I liked it because it didn't have um a lot of ingredients so i don't have to have like because i'm not vegan or anything or vegetarian so it's just like five stalks of celery two pears one each of uh, uh, ginger root and you have a drink washed pear blah 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 two to five minutes enjoy um this man has been in her life with her mom and her brothers and sisters since she was 10 and i know mr wendell he was a great man um he was going through a lot of health at um a lot of health issues during a time where we all have been going through so much. Even me and my best friend, like we've just been going through so much as single moms and you know, everybody is just like, he was going through so much that I really couldn't be there as much as I wanted to or, but I, you know, or pray for him as much as I wanted to because I was thinking about my own kids and my own stuff. <laughs> on this because I did need this to juice so trying to do this with one hand and watch I kill myself good thing the kids are not well uh, opening up boxes with one hand ah what is that an ant no die die oh I'm sorry for all the bug non killers I'm not one of those I have been wanting one of these for so long and I invested in the Ninja. I only invested in the small one. I, I am not playing. It is a box inside of a box inside of a box. Like this thing is, if it's broke, it's because it wasn't meant to be here because it is packaged, honey. Okay, juice it, put the top back on and then go ahead and drink it or put a straw on it. Cause like I said, I'll probably, um, 
wasted on myself and I didn't know that it had a 75 recipe cookbook. So that's pretty cool. The smaller cup and the big cup. You can add ice. That's what I need to order. I need to order me some ice. Um, yeah, so I did invest in this. This is one of my big investments, but the other stuff didn't cost that much money. Which I call mommy. And she was, that's, at first I was worried about my best friend, but I was really worried about her mom. Cause like being with somebody that long and then losing them, I'm like, mommy, how are you? Cause I know how she is so protective of Mr. Wendell. And she was like, I'm just gonna go to sleep. And that's, I have learned from my own experience that not dealing with your emotions and not feeling the slow burn of pain doesn't get help you get to the other side. So that made me a little worried, but, and then I was also worried, like, am I saying the right things? Am I doing the right things? Cause it was like four o'clock in the morning. But um, uh, she said she was gonna go to sleep and we hung up and then I went back to sleep, but it was on my mind. And then my best friend called me first thing this morning. Cause I did text her, I love her and I'm so sorry. And she's gonna text me this morning, she cried. And then we end up talking and then I do what I do, make people laugh because when stuff gets, you know, you ever seen that movie, um, uh, Terms of Endearment, I'm the one that makes people laugh when things are getting too serious. I know how to turn it on. Two things I think I have learned at my age is one, asking for health is strength. Sitting in silence and suffering, that's it. that, that doesn't make you strong. People with crack kids do that, everybody does that. Asking for help when you need it takes strength and courage. And two, grieving, crying, mourning, getting it out. Get it out now. Truly really know that I didn't deal like three days after my mom died, I went back to work. Like I went right back to work. And a lot of stuff happened over the years that I did not deal with because I felt like, oh, I have to be bigger for my brother or I have to be bigger for my daughters or I have to be, I have to be, make life look a certain type of way or I don't wanna bother anybody or I don't wanna blah, blah, blah. And it, it left me in a nut house for a time. So learn from my mistakes, you know, grieve, feel what you feel, allow yourself to go through it, be gentle with yourself, but don't think that you're weak because you're grieving and don't think you're weak because you're asking for help and saying you need help. You know, I tell my kids all the time, raise your hand if you don't know the question, ask for help. There's, my grandmother asks you, she used to say all the time, there's no dumb questions, there's dumb answers.